Hi everybody, welcome back. Now we're up at the storage yard again today and I'm going to talk to you about a topic which is becoming more and more discussed on the forums and the Facebook groups over the past couple of weeks and that is the whole subject of draining your caravan down. You see for many people it's the end of the summer so it's the end of the season for them and they're putting their caravan away to bed. That's a completely different topic. But I want to talk to you about draining down your caravan today. And specifically, I want to talk to you about some of the products which are available, which help you drain your caravan down. Now, I don't use any products to help me drain the caravan down, but I see lots of people discussing them and asking the question, are they worth the investment? So this morning I've been down to the dealership and I've purchased one of these. It's a flow kit, it's £45, it's a fair old investment if you're interested in one of these. And I want to answer the question whether they're a worthwhile investment, whether they're a waste of money and how much liquid one of these will actually take out of the caravan when you're draining down. So let's set the scene. It's now September. The last time we used the caravan was back in August when we were at Devon. So that was five weeks ago, six weeks ago that we were in uh, Devon and I opened up all the taps as per normal, drained all the fluids down out of the caravan and then drove it home with the taps open. That is what I've always been doing up until now and uh, the whole act of travelling down the road with uh, the taps open and a uh, little fluid in there should theoretically jiggle out as much liquid as I would need to out of the system. So with that in mind, how much liquid will the flow here take out of the caravan. Now, if you're not familiar with one of these, let's go and have a look inside the packet and see what you actually pay for. Right, this is the flow kit and the principle is really straightforward. You connect it to your external fitting on your caravan. In this case, it's a Truma uh, Ultra Flow Kit. They do produce different versions of this kit for the different fittings depending on your water inlet. So with your fitting inserted into the caravan, it goes down to this clear tube and it connects eventually onto this adapter here, which connects onto a foot pump or a tire inflator. And the principle is really straightforward. It uses air at a very low pressure to push out any last remaining drops from your system. Now the pack comes with a very helpful DVD. I haven't played that because literally I've just got picked it up from the shops. But it does come with some very straightforward instructions. Connect the device, connect it all up together, insert it into your caravan, use a tire inflator up to 15 PSI maximum. Make sure your taps are closed and then open each tap individually and allow the air to push out the last remaining water. So let's get on and do that now. So very straightforward. All connects up together and I'm going to fit onto here the tyre inflator. As you can see it's just a normal car tyre valve on there and I'm going to insert that into the caravan. So this is the tyre inflator which I'm using and I've set it to a maximum of 15 psi which you can see there like so. And then I'm just going to fix this onto the end of the flow device. Right, let's push that in there like so. Now I'm not going to start anything just yet, we need to nip inside now and close all the taps. Right, I've just run around the caravan, I've closed all the taps down including the drain down tap as well which is right next to our hot water tank. So all the taps are now closed and also what I've done is I've put a bowl here in the sink and uh, we'll see how much water is pushed out of the system. So the process is really simple. What I'm going to do now is going to run back outside, turn on the compressor, get it to reach up to 15 psi with all the taps closed. Then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to use the cold water tap and I'm going to open the kitchen cold water tap here and we'll see how much water is pushed out. So that's the process. Let's get on and do it. Right, here goes. Now the actual instructions are quite clear. They basically state to repeat the process until there's no more water being blown out of the taps. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm running the air through first time and then running it through a second and maybe a third timer as well. So that's how much water is in that I've taken out from just one tap doing the cold water. I haven't started the hot water yet and I haven't removed any water out of the bathroom. So let me run around and do those in exactly the same process that I've been doing here. 
and then I'll show you how much water I get out of the entire system in the end. Now a point worth noting, you haven't seen me do it but I can assure you I have completed it and that is draining down the hot water system. In actual fact it's exactly the same process as the cold water system. Right, what I've done now is I've just taken the shower head off, so I've just got this here. Uh, so I've taken the shower head off and again, as per normal, <laughs> right, and that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is us drained down. This is all the water that we we got out and as you can see that is a sizable amount of liquid there. Um, the measuring jug I've got here only goes up to 400 mils at a time so let's just uh, make a start and uh, start measuring out how much we've got here. I hope you can see this. So that's 400 mils. I'm just pouring it into another bowl actually. Eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty. I would say eight hundred and fifty mils. Right, and there we go, guys. That is the drain down now complete. So, um, what's my thoughts? Well, initially, I was pretty sceptical of this uh, little contraption. I won't lie, I thought to myself, £45 for this is a lot of money, and I can't really see any justification for it. After all, I've been draining it down the same way for the past three years, and I've never had a problem. So I thought, you know, maybe it's just a bit of a con. After seeing the water coming out of the taps, it was surprising how much extra water this thing actually blew out. 850 mils, well, let's call it just under a litre. Um, it's quite a sizable amount of water. Not so much lying in the pipes because as long as you leave the taps open, you know, the water when it freezes can expand. The big shock to me was the quality of the water. The water came out with some fairly horrible yucky black bits. And I've been pretty fastidious and I've been really careful to make sure that the water in the caravan is nice and clean. I've used Pura Clean, I've cleaned the system through, I've sterilised it. At the beginning of each season, I'm really quite careful about making sure that the water is nice and clean. But what that's proven to me is that no matter how much you clean the pipes, you're going to have water laying around in the pipework because obviously there is always going to be some residual liquid left over and only this device can really blow it through. So if nothing else, if it wasn't for the draining down, this device is going to be very useful for making sure that the pipework is kept nice and clean. It now means that when I sterilise these uh, pipes in the caravan in a couple of days time, I know that I've got a really good fighting chance of making sure that all the pipes are superbly clean. Your insurance policy may stipulate that you need to ensure your caravan is suitably drained down between given dates. I certainly know that for companies like Caravan Guard, they stipulate specific dates of when the caravan should be drained down. So make sure your caravan is drained down, and if you've got one of these, you can guarantee that you've removed as much liquid as you possibly can out of your pipework. Do I think it's a worthwhile investment? It's a lot of money, let's not lie, it's £45. But let's weigh up the cost here. If I spend £45 on this device, I blow all the water out, I'm going to minimise the risk of any frost damage. So weigh it up against the £45 for this, and the cost of repairing my pipework in the caravan, it's an investment worth doing isn't it? And of course it's not just the draining down which I've mentioned, there's also the health benefits of making sure that uh, the pipe's nice and clean. So I hope that this has become a useful review for you today, completely unbiased, I would recommend that you at least look into them. As I said, they come with the different fittings to fit different caravan types. So you know what, go and have a look, investigate a bit further, but uh, I think it may be worthwhile in investment anyway. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care now, bye-bye.